Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi everybody, let's take a look at today's top stories. Akron police have released video they hope will help them find the shooters who killed two people near the University of Akron. They're looking for any information about the people you see here, specifically the two people wearing the white t-shirts. Police tell us a fight broke out at a large gathering near Kling and Wheeler Streets in September. That's when somebody opened fire. Three people were shot. 18-year-old Maya McFetridge and 25-year-old Alex Beasley died. If you know anything, call Akron Police. The University of Akron and Summit County Crime Stoppers are also offering a $50,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. The Ohio Supreme Court will decide if Governor Mike DeWine had the power to pull out of a federal pandemic unemployment program before it ended. The governor stopped the extra $300 in weekly unemployment benefits in June, 10 weeks before that program actually ended, saying with so many jobs open, there was no longer a need for any extra payments. That stopped nearly uh, $900 million from reaching out-of-work Ohioans. If the court rules against the governor, it's not clear if that money would still be paid out. Let's get outside. Hello, Mark Johnson. All righty, Rob Powers. A little front coming in during the overnight. May stir up an isolated shower in one or two spots. Most of you will stay dry. Could be a little fog as you begin your day as well as temps fall back into the 40s. There you see a little isolated little green. That, that would be a raindrop. 40s to start our day tomorrow. Now, 40s, sweater weather, you bet. Spot shower. 60 on Wednesday at clouds, sun mix and seasonable rain and snow for the weekend. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.